just curious why why no open workout yesterday? Are you trying to keep the uh, everything under wraps here and just show us all fight night? It's all part of the plan. That's it, man. It's all part of the plan. And I wanted to introduce myself to the public. And uh, yeah, man, I wanted to go and actually shake hands, kiss babies, and uh, give hugs to those that are in the crowd. They deserve that from me. How do you think you've been received by the you know MMA community, general fans, and everything since you've kind of made this rise to the UFC, winning your first four fights? Well, to be honest with you, I only focus on myself and only focus on being great. And so, uh, however people uh, kind of take me, that's between them and themselves. I mean, uh, I worry about myself and my team and my family. That's it. That's all. Sure. Is there things that you want people to learn about you, though? Like, whether it's not just your fighting style, but outside the gauge, your backstory, anything that you feel is important to know more about you? I mean, yeah, man. I came up in the gutter, man. So, and now I'm on some other shit, man. It's time to get it. That's all that matters to me, man. Being great. What do you think of Nashville? Um, you, ever, you ever been in Nashville before? No, I have not. Nashville uh, seems like a good place. We kind of on the outskirts out here, wherever the fuck we are. Is it Franklin? Uh, yeah. uh, so I haven't really seen too much of Nashville, but I'll see a little bit of that after the fight. What excites you about this matchup with Curtis? It's another guy in my way. You know, like, it's said the same thing last fight and the fight before that. That's another guy in my way. You know, I don't put too much on these guys. You know, it's just another roadblock that I will climb over. You're in the co-main event. And is that special to you that you're kind of moving up and getting more recognition? I mean, if you, like three fights ago, I said I should have been main event. So, you know, it's one of those things where uh, I know it happens brick by brick, but uh, yeah, man, it's this, this next step and the next step will be main event and so on and so forth. And you're putting together a win streak here and it's, it's if you didn't get another win on Saturday, what do you think that kind of like sends a message? To the There's division? no if, it's win. What kind of message do you think that'll send for the division? Fuck the division. Fuck all of them. You know, it's the same thing I always said. You know, I'm here to be great. That's it. That's all. So I, I don't worry about these guys. None of them. I'm here just to be great. Continue to win. DC is calling your fight on Saturday. Is he going to be able to stay unbiased when you're in there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, that's, uh, he is my teammate. So <laughs> you would think that he would, uh, you know, be unbiased, but, you know, like I said, man, I'm, I'm looking to go in this fight and just dominate. So I don't think he's going to be talking too much about Curtis Blades. How is training with DC helping you or helped you for Curtis Blades? Obviously, Curtis is one of the better wrestlers in the division. Daniel Cormier is Daniel Cormier. I mean, DC, Kane, uh, overall, you know, AK, you know, uh, we're, we're known for wrestling. You know, and I came in there as just a fighter, a person who just fight with grit. And, um, and being, I guess, uh, coming up behind them, um, I was able to learn defense, offense, able to mix it up and really uh, turn into a complete martial artist. So uh, their, in their level of wrestling, Curtis Blades is not on that type of level. The chain wrestling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's just not. I'm used to the creme de la creme of wrestling, and uh, he, that's just not him. Is it true you uh, you no longer want to speak to Australian media? I'll show you media. I mean, why? I'm focused on this fight. You know, that's it. That's all. You know, I'm not here to co-promote anybody else. I'm here to just promote myself and my team. Uh, that's it, you know, uh, so I'm, I'm not with the games. I'm not with none of that shit, man. I'm just here to focus on Curtis Blades. And another general question, we are in, uh, you know, March Madness season, uh -huh. tournament season. If you could pick any weight class, it could even be your own for the UFC to do a big tournament, what would it be? I win mine every day. But, uh, you know, my, my goal, and I kind of um, been adamant about this, is um, after I win this title, we need to open up a super heavyweight division so I can win that too. Yeah, have you noticed many super heavyweights out there that are, you know, capable of being... I mean, there's a lot of guys who cut. So, you know, so the guys who don't have to cut, just go create a new division, man. That's what it's about, man. And I know I can put asses in seats once the UFC start giving me some more light. Stop fucking around with me. What, what do you cut down from? Huh? What do you cut down from? Uh, back in the day, I used to cut... I mean, I'll be honest about this. Back in the day, I used to cut down from 300 pounds. Back in the day, with me and my, my teammate, Dwight Grant, um, I remember uh, being at GKO. I'm gonna give you all some credit right quick. Uh, Global Knockout in Sacramento. We used to cut down from uh, with me uh, 298. Now it's nothing like that. Now I cut down from like 276 something like that. So it's a really easy cut for me. Do you feel like you'll go lower over time, or is this like the kind of the sweet spot for you? Um, I'm naturally this. I mean, I work out very very hard, you know, um, year round. Um, so uh, this is my natural weight now, you know. So I'm very comfortable here, and this is not a very hard cut at all. This is get it done let's get it when you went on saturday how far away from a title shot are you 
I mean, to be honest with you, I'm only worried about winning on Saturday. Then after that, you know, uh, when the emotions are gone, you guys will hear exactly what I have to say. Where do you get one of those hoodies? That's oh, awesome. Bigpretty.world. Look me up. Uh, Bigpretty.world. www.bigpretty.world. 